Scapular stabilization is a daily task that requires minimal equipment and 10 to 20 minutes of your child's time after they complete tennis. The exercises can be performed on a mat or on a exercise ball, such as this exercise. The important thing to note is body control. You don't want to do a lot of bouncing around. If you're on the mat, you want to hold your lower body still and squeeze the shoulder blades together. So we're retracting the shoulder blades. And then the progression, once you conquer it on the mat, then you want to take it to the ball and again make yourself unsteady. It's much more challenging, as you see here, to control the body. It's due to weak, weaker core muscles. And it's definitely a progression you want to achieve before moving on to weights. You want to move the weights slow and controlled. Here we're doing a prone shoulder extension and concentrating on squeezing the shoulder blades together and pulling down, just as we are here in pull downs. And this just takes medium strength tubing. The next exercise is a horizontal abduction exercise and it should be completed, all exercises should be completed with both arms. And we're just taking the body away from the arm, away from the midline of the body. There should be minimal body movement. Head should stay still, chin up, and then rows directly to the chest. You want to keep the head still, the chin tucked, and squeezing the shoulder blades together. And then this exercise is a low to high exercise. And again, it's for the posterior delt <clears throat> and the rhomboids. And we are trying to achieve the muscle strengthening between the, the two shoulder blades. Now we're going to go on to some stretching for the thoracic spine. You want to take the thoracic spine into extension. You can go down into the lumbar area, but focus mainly on the upper back, trying to elongate the spaces in between the vertebra. And this can also be done on a ball if that you don't have a foam roller. And then you can go on to some stretching exercises for the pec group. And it also helps strengthen the core and work on balance. Another important muscle to uh, stretch is the internal rotators of the arm, which tend to be tight on tennis player. Not the external rotators, but the internal rotators. And of course, the last stretch, we always want to stretch the pec muscles, the chest muscles, and make sure that there is an ability for the shoulder blades to be squeezed together and to be pulled back. If you have tightening in the chest, that will be prevented. 